Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I am going to be showing you how I do my daily makeup. Um, just note, this is not a professional tutorial. So this is just me showing you how I put on my makeup. So let's begin. Um, so I've got all of my things that I use. When you put it all together, it seems like a lot of stuff actually. So the first thing I do is I use a colour corrector. <clears throat> this is the NYX colour corrector liquid um, that illuminates fair to medium complexions, so it's the yellow one. A small amount on all of the sort of major areas of my face and I just kind of feel that this, using this colour corrector just gives me a nice glowing skin. The next thing I do is I use my uh, egg pore Tony Moly. So this just helps to sort of mattify and help your pores disappear. So I'll try and get quite close to help you try and see. So you just kind of put it in the key areas where you feel like your pores are quite big. Um, so the next thing I do is foundation. I choose between three foundations. Um, I've got a Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation, a Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation, and a Number 7 Beautifully Matte Foundation. I kind of use all three of these, but lately I have been reaching for the Rimmel the most, so I will use the Rimmel now. Now I have tried stippling brushes and sponges to apply foundation and I just kind of feel that the fingers work best. So for me, this is how I put my foundation on. Obviously, you know, makeup artists will probably be horrified, <laughs> but this is the way it works for me. The next thing I use is a little bit of concealer. This is the Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer. So just a little bit under the eyes, just to brighten me up a little bit. And on any bits that you feel you want to be concealing. And then I use the What's Up Benefit Highlighter. Um, just on my cheekbones is the only place I use this. Please always blend. Oh, so next I use the NYX Blotting Powder. My skin tends to get quite a shine on during the day. So this is like a white powder compact. Um, and it just actually helps absorb any excess oil or shine throughout the day so that you're not constantly feeling like you've got to reapply powder. Obviously go easy on it, it is a white powder so you don't want it to look like a geisha. Unless you do, in which case, layer it on thick. So the next thing I'm going to do is a little bit of um, sort of shading, uh, contouring I suppose tanning, whatever you want to say. Uh, I'm using the Clarins, oh that looks lovely. Um, and then because I'm actually really quite fair, I only actually sort of go from the middle down and maybe that one around. I haven't actually gone into those dark shades yet. So I just grab a little bit, tap the brush, and then I'm using an angled brush and I just go lightly into the areas where the sun would naturally kind of get me anyway. Um, and then obviously a little bit down here as well, just to help with the old cheekbone uh, shading. So obviously you want to try and keep it as natural as possible, because, you know, looking like you've contoured your face is not a good look. So we we'll just do the same on the other side. It's a very light dusting, you know, it's quite, my makeup is quite natural looking. I don't really like the sort of caked on effect. So, I try and keep it quite light. And then, um, try and go down a little bit on your neck as well. 
because actually if you shade under your chin it makes you look like you've got more of a uh, jawline which is always nice is blusher and I'm using the NARS Orgasm mmm racy my powder to help set my foundation and everything else I have just put on I use a I'm currently using a Kiko um, makeup um, compact it's a soft focus compact and this is in number eight I feel like I like this powder actually. It gives actually quite a nice coverage as well, so it just kind of actually adds to the um, foundation. I'm using Spectrum brushes, by the way, in case you were curious. Um, that little one was actually a MAC brush, I believe. Um, but yeah, Spectrum are the brushes that I normally use. And then, yeah, just all over the show with this. So now I'll move on to my eyes. Now, people who are really good at doing makeup put on their mascara to their um, eyeshadow. I can't do that. It just smudges all over my lids. So the first thing I always do is curl the old lash -roonies. Now, what I have been using is the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara, but just yesterday I received a um, sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes um, Mascara. I just put this in a um, What the Postman Brought video yesterday, um, so if you want to see this, um, I'll leave a link in the comments. Um, just also to mention, I didn't mention the skincare that I use because I have also just done a My Daily Skincare Routine video and I will also leave a link to that in the comments. So if you would like to see what I do before my makeup, you can go on and have a look. Because I constantly smudge my mascara, I cannot go anywhere without my trusty little earbuds because this is what I use to then clean up the mess I have just made of myself. Um, the next thing I use is something that I cannot live without. As you can see I don't have very many eyebrows. I have done a couple of eyebrow tutorials. Again I'll link those in the comments that you can have a look at them if you want. Um, this is the eyebrow pencil oh, it's a bit dirty, um, that I always go back to. It's a Rimmel eyebrow pencil in number 002 Hazel and I have loads of eyebrow pencils and loads of eyebrow products and this is just the one that I always end up going back to. I like it because it does have the little brush as well so it's like everything in one. It's super convenient. I think it gives you a really good colour. It stays on all day long. Um, doesn't smudge. I think it looks really natural. So yeah, I just think this is my kind of go-to eyebrow pencil really. So I use a variety of eyeshadow palettes. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like me to actually show you all of the eyeshadow palettes that I use, because I do actually have some really, really nice ones. A lot of the eyeshadow palettes that I use are quite kind of neutral or smoky, but more along the brown tones. So today I'm going to be using the 17 Easy on the Eye eyeshadow palette. This is one of the ones I go to all the time. It's got some great colours in there. Um, a fantastic kit of neutrals. If you're looking for a one-stop palette, this is the one I would suggest because the colours are fabulous. Sunkissed Peach um, is the one I'm gonna go for, uh, which I will just put everywhere. And just by the way, when you're doing your makeup, tap the brush. It's not very hygienic actually to blow on your makeup brushes, so. Try to avoid that if you can. Tap it instead. Or the slightly darker shade, which is, oopsie, number seven, which is Toast Almond, which is just there. Um, and I'm just going to, again, tap it, and then just put that in the creases, just like such. Now I'm just going to select a slightly darker shade. 
which is number eight, which is baked chestnut. I'm just going to put a little bit of that just in the very corner of the eye. Just dab, 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 just to give it a little bit more definition in the corner. So the very last thing is a bit of blending. I'm just gonna blend it in. So my lipstick I'm gonna put on is a Boots Soft Tulip. So that's it, that's my everyday makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you have. Please subscribe to my channel. Please join me again. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.